Hello fellow grower, I'm back again and welcome to my channel, The Late Grower. Now, uh, for today, I'm going to share with you how to apply vermicast to your plants in containers. Sorry for the noise. Okay, so this one here is uh, vermicast and I'm going to apply it to this uh, pepper plant. As you can see, the leaves of my pepper plants are uh, somewhat droopy. That's because uh, it's been exposed to the sun for uh, almost uh, the whole day now. But uh, anyway, when it comes to applying vermicast, first things first, you have to protect yourself. Uh, and that is by putting on gloves. I have here uh, plastic gloves, two of them actually. Now, uh, aside from uh, plastic gloves, you can also use other kinds of uh, gloves as long as uh, the dirt will not come in contact uh, with your uh, hands. Okay, you see, uh, vermicast is still warm poop. This is poop. Okay, and in producing vermicast, they also use the horse manure or cow manure. So we just don't know how much E. coli bacteria are in this uh, uh, warm poop. Okay, so to be safe, you have to protect yourself with the gloves. Or in this case, I'm using just plastic gloves, but uh, two of them. Okay, and uh, if you are that type of person who prefer to dirty your hands with uh, war poop or uh, vermicast, then just make sure that uh, after uh, touching it, that you will uh, use or uh, clean your hands with a very good antibacterial soap. Okay, so let's go get down to it. Now, uh, vermicast, the proper application is that uh, you have to uh, apply vermicast closer or very close to the roots of uh, the plant. Okay, so for the plant to uh, get the needed uh, benefit. So don't just uh, put vermicast on top of uh, the soil because uh, when uh, you expose the container to direct sunlight, it will dry out the vermicast and uh, might just kill all the beneficial bacteria, the microorganisms that are present in this uh, vermicast. The right thing to do is to mix it in your soil. Now, in my case, as I said earlier, I prefer to uh, bring the vermicast directly into uh, the roots of uh, this uh, pepper plant or any plant for that matter. So, what I do is to take out the, the topsoil until I reach the uh, roots. Now, I'm using this uh, plastic gloves because uh, it is uh, thin and uh, somehow I can feel when the roots are uh, breaking okay. let's just uh, work our way into the soil remove this post see this pepper plant uh, suffered from a strong wind uh, a few weeks earlier it got broken in the middle here so uh, I just tied it into this post and uh, to keep it standing. So right now, after a few weeks, it's uh, healed already, the wound. Okay. Now let's take off some of the uh, topsoil to expose the uh, roots, at least the upper uh, portion. You just have to make sure that uh, the vermicast will touch uh, the roots. Okay, here are some roots. I don't know if it can be seen by the camera. You have the roots here. In this case, I'm just getting the soil from the outermost portion of uh, the container so as not to damage uh, that many roots. See here that some of the roots are already exposed. Also on the other side, the roots here. So I have already exposed uh, the roots. No need to go deeper because that would damage a lot of uh, roots and may put the plant into shock. No? In this case, 
We can now apply the vermicast. Here, I'm applying this uh, mini vermicast to this plant. Okay. Just spread it evenly. Now we're going to put back the uh, soil that uh, I took uh, earlier. By, but first, I'm going to apply vermicast also in this uh, soil, topsoil. Mix it well. Just so. And then put it back. By doing this, the vermicast is not directly, uh, at least most of them, are not uh, directly exposed to uh, sunlight and the uh, microorganisms can uh, be kept alive. Okay, so after uh, putting vermicast, and also returning the topsoil, this time with the, also with the mix of vermicast. Just water your plant liberally. Okay, now question is, how often do you apply vermicast to your potted plants? Now, uh, it would depend on what kind of plant, how, how big they are, and uh, also on how you observe your plant. In my case, I uh, apply vermicast once a month to uh, my plants. And uh, that's also based on my observation. If uh, somehow they stop growing or the leaves are turn turning uh, yellow, then uh, that is a cute time for me to apply, uh, again, uh, nutrients, uh, whether, whether it be uh, synthetic fertilizer or organic fertilizer in this case uh, vermicast now another thing uh, I don't apply both organic and synthetic fertilizers if I'm going to use organic fertilizer I only use organic fertilizer straight up no mixing with the synthetic fertilizer if you're going to use synthetic fertilizer then just use synthetic fertilizer okay so, and that way, again, I can also compare the difference between uh, the two. Okay, so this video is uh, very short. I just would like to share with you how I, in particular, apply vermicast to my uh, plants in uh, container. So, thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in my next videos. Bye-bye!